Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Problem of the Week. This week we're uh, going over a little number theory proof where uh, we're given the first two terms in a sequence and we're given the nth term for any, any term that is after the first two, so from three onwards. And our claim is that a sub n is equal to 3 times 2 to the n minus 1 plus 2 times negative 1 to the n. And uh, so I guess first you notice this negative 1 to the n, or I noticed that first anyways. And that means that every other term is going to alternate sign, or every other term for like this part is going to alter alternate sign. That will come up later. Um, also, we notice that we're dealing with recursion, so we might want to, uh, uh, we're going to probably use an inductive proof, and that is what we're going to do. So uh, inductive proof has three steps. First step is you check the base case, so when n equals 1 and 2, I guess, because we're given 2, so we might as well check that. And then we assume uh, our assumption is true for n equals uh, k, and then we go ahead and prove with that assumption in mind that it is true for k plus 1, so it will hold for all natural numbers. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead prove, uh, into proving the base case. So, um, according to this, so um, we just have 3 times 1 minus 2 because this uh, is going to be negative 1. And so that's 1. And might as well prove it for um, n equals uh, 2. And uh, that n being even is going to make uh, the negative 1 go away. And we just have 3 times 2 plus 2, which is 6 plus 2, which is equal to 8. So now we're just going to make our assumption and go into our inductive step. Um, so we have this assumption here, which is just kind of what we're trying to prove. And we're going to use that assumption later on to, uh, to prove that uh, a sub n, a, the n plus 1 term is going to fall into our uh, equation for, the, for what we would expect. So uh, I'm just going to write that out. So here we have um, our n plus 1 term. And we notice that because of the recursion, we're able to... Uh, we're able to put our assumption kind of directly into our n plus 1 term, which is uh, useful in an inductive proof. So now I'm going to substitute uh, I'm going to substitute our, our a sub n here and a sub n minus 1 here, which is uh, which you just uh, treat n minus 1 as its own term. So you'll see what, what that means in a second. And uh, so for now, I'm just going to go ahead and substitute. So here's our substitution. Um, as you notice for the n minus 1th term, uh, we're actually 2 away from n, 2 before n, and then 1 before n here. Uh, kind of as intuition would dictate. So now we want to combine things, right? So we want to make uh, this n minus 1. And so when we take out, since, since we're subtracting 2, and then we add another one in to get to n minus 1, we have to divide by 2, which is our, what we're exponentiating. And similarly for uh, this negative 1, we're also going to have to uh, divide by uh, negative 1 once we, uh, once we add in another uh, n minus 1 to get to negative 1 to the power of n. Uh, 
Uh, so that's what I've gone ahead and done. And uh, you see that we, we have taken out a, a negative one half to, uh, we've taken out, sorry, we've taken out one half to increase this power by one. And similarly, we've taken out a negative uh, one over one to make that, uh, to increase this power by one to get to n. I'm just going to simplify that a little bit. Uh, so we just have minus 4 times negative 1 to the n. So um, now we notice that we have similar terms because we don't have this multiplication factor. The exponents are the same. So we're just going to condense this expression. So what I've done here, I just have, uh, so we have 3 times 2 to the n minus 1 plus uh, another 3 times 2 to the n minus 1. So I've, I've taken this out because we're trying to make it look like this in the end. So I've taken out a 3 and we have 2 times 2 to the n minus 1 because we have uh, two of these terms both here and here. And... Um, I've done the same thing for the uh, negative 1 to the n term. So uh, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And um, so what this is, since we have 2 times itself uh, n minus 1 times, and then we're multiplying it that by 2 again, that just uh, turns into 2 to the n. And since every other term... Uh, uh, flips flip sign from its from its previous term. Uh, if we make this n plus one, we're going to be adding uh, two two times negative one to the n plus one. So rewriting that will give us uh, kind of what we expect from our induction. And. You're gonna. You notice that if we just plugged in n minus n plus one here, uh, this is exactly what we'd get. Uh, so that means our our uh, statement is valid. Our assumption is valid because we got to this using uh, just logical manipulations along the way. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I hope you got something from this solution. If you were struggling with this problem, um, you can find a link to more problems of the week. You can also uh, check out our website where you can find a bunch of math resources or um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course, with all these links here. And of course, if you're on mobile, uh, you can find the links in a card up in the corner. Thank you for watching and have a good day.